Hello everyone, Larry Satchwell here. I've got a ton of projects going on right now. In fact, I'm waiting for some varnish to dry so I can flock the inside of a bandsaw box. And it dawned on me that maybe some of you are a little more serious than giving your sweetie flowers or chocolates this Valentine's Day. So I've got the core of that bandsaw box. I really don't like the wings of it because it just goes up too high. But I think I'm gonna to try to make a ring box that you might be interested in. I've got this smaller profile here that is nice and rounded and I can get it to fit right inside this other one so there's very little waste. So it's over to the bandsaw. I sanded it down to all the grits. It's uh, polished here at 220. It's looking good. I've rounded over the top, and now I need to cut that top off. Now it's over to the drill press to drill a hole. I've got everything clamped down. I've only got one shot at this, and it's pretty narrow. So now that the hole's drilled, all I have to do is seal it to prepare it for flocking. I'm going to let that dry. Back in 24 hours. Well, here's that little ring box. Now it's time to shake this out. I've got some sanding to do on it, but the interior came out beautiful. In Hobby Lobby the other day, I was looking for a glass that I could use in yet another project, and I came across this, and right now the glass is all half price, and I would have bought this just for the cork because I think it was only a couple dollars full price. And I bought the cork before I made the box. So this cork is going to fit right in there. But I've got an inch and three quarters, an inch and five eighths, and an inch and seven eighths. And I used the inch and five eighths for this box because that's where it fit really well. So now I can take my zero clearance or flush cutting pole saw and carefully cut the top off of this because it's, I don't want the full size. It would stand very proud of the lid. I can do another little test fit. It's still a little proud, but I don't want to push it down in there too far because then I'll have to use a corkscrew to get it out. The box is already finished. The top is, the sides are, 
So all I need to do now is to attach the top. I want to make sure that this cork has good adhesion, so I'm going to flatten it out a little bit more. There is a taper. I want to make sure I've got the right side on there. I'm not going to lie. This is a little scary part. Put the cork in there gently. This is uh, CA or super glue. Uh, this is stick fast. It's supposed to have some flexibility and it's good for gluing unlike surfaces. And this is the gap filling. And I certainly don't want this to come out to the sides. Because then my cork would be in there and I would have to redrill that. This is the accelerator. So when these two surfaces touch, it's almost impossible to move it around. So I want to make sure I've got this right where I want it. Just putting a really light pressure on there. Whew. Came out. Just for double major, I'm going to put a little thin set in there. The last thing you want to do is to present your loved one with a ring case and when she opens it all she sees is a cork i'm convinced that's really on there well here it is the finished ring box nice tight fit ring's not going to fall out and the cork's going to come out with the lid if you're presenting your sweetie with a ring this valentine's day i hope you have as much success in your marriage as we have It'll be 47 years in May. Thanks for watching.